Hi, my name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. I do videos surrounding natural hair, fitness, and veganism. If those are things that interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up to stimulate the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so I've been seeing these videos pop up on my homepage for months now and I thought to myself, this is a perfect time to do one yourself. This is not content that I normally do and it just looked like a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna give it a try. And today's video will be on me reacting to natural hair TikToks. Considering that Oregon has gone through its second lockdown now, a lot of my time ends up being spent on TikTok, but that's okay. I, I think we have a healthy relationship. I really feel like TikTok gets me, more like the world gets me. TikTok has this thing about it that's actually pretty magical. Because it's people that are just regular people mostly, it's so relatable and like, I don't know, my For You page knows me too well. I am not a natural hair TikToker. Maybe it's something that I'll try in the future, but I do follow some hashtags and some people that are natural hair TikTokers. So um, I'm kind of in the loop. I'm not 100% in the loop. Today I'm gonna catch up because I really haven't been on TikTok very much this week. So, you ready? Okay, so I'm starting my screen recording now. Okay, we're just gonna go for natural hair. I'll just start with the first one right here. So this is at Jariah, Jariah, that's her, that's her name. Um, but yeah, let's see what she's got. Yes. Okay. Her hair is very similar to mine, I feel like. Um, she might have some areas that are tighter than my hair because my hair is very multi-textured, um, but very similar. It looks very healthy. Um... She's finger coiling, which is cool. I used to do that a lot. I don't usually do that anymore. Just because I don't do a whole lot of just regular wash and goes. Okay, so I hate to say this. It makes me sound like a product snob. If I'm being completely honest, I kind of am, but that's because I know what works the best in my hair and for everybody's hair, and all of those synthetic ingredients aren't doing anything for our hair. It may feel like it's doing something, but in the long run, I have seen the difference in my hair and in other people's hair journeys that I have helped. And I'm not saying all drugstore products are bad because that's not the truth, but you really need products that have natural and wholesome ingredients to really make the biggest change in the long run. My hair is so much healthier now that I use natural products and it has grown so much faster and thicker and shinier and more manageable. So um, that's just my personal opinion. And in this video, she's using Cream of Nature and African Pride. Not my favorite, never have been my favorite, even when I was using products that weren't all natural. But other than that, um, her hair is beautiful, her skin is gorgeous, and yeah, her hair turned out great. Okay, so let's go for the next one. This is by Oh That's Danny. Oh Dot That's Danny. Um, this person is verified, but I don't know who they are. But yeah, let's see what this girl's got. Yeah, get in into it. It's not dry. She's doing a twist out. I'm aiming to have okay, curls like her. She's aiming to have curls like Cherry Shy. And yeah, her, I mean, her curls are beautiful. I personally don't really like the outcome of twist outs. I prefer a braid out any day, but um, that's just my personal preference. And it does look so beautiful on people. And it just, for my hair and how it comes out, it's not my favorite. But um, yeah, let's see, let's see how it turns out. She's skeptical. She's doing a lot of diffusing. It's not completely dry, but I'm Oh no, she said it's not completely dry, but I'm gonna start it. Ah, you should have waited. This is like part of the reason why I hate twist outs is like, if you take it out a minute too early and it is still damp, it is gonna be so frizzy and so just like 
not what you're looking for, not the outcome you're looking for at all. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it turns out okay for her. Let's see. Okay, this is my hair before I separate it. I don't know where this is gonna go. So this is the final look. Okay. It's not what I was yeah, going for. Yeah, she even for. said it wasn't what she's going for. But um, this is what happens to my hair when I get impatient and take out a twist, a twist out before it's ready. But I mean, she's cute. She's still working it. It doesn't look bad. She's still really, she's a beautiful girl, so. I love how at the end she said, you know, make sure to follow a black creator because sometimes I feel like we don't stick together as much as we should and uplift each other as much as we should. And you know, a lot of black creators go unnoticed and um, just not appreciated for the work that they do. Okay, let's watch this one. She said, not the bang yang. And this is by BB underscore Michelle. The bang yang. <laughs> She's killing it. Her shrinkage is crazy. That's how you know you have healthy hair. Don't ever hate on your shrinkage. Ugh, those ringlets in the back, I'm done. Beautiful. She's killing it. Okay, let's see what else they've got. Okay, 4C, hair wash day. Oh, she's getting her hair did. I hate that shampoo. <laughs> Oh no, I'm having such a hard time remembering to say their names beforehand. I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. Um, her handle is at L LDKMA. But yeah, she's getting her hair did. She's using Terrible Drugstore. Um, oh wow, her shrinkage is crazy. We are magical beings. Like, who else has hair like us? Oh, wait. Okay. You gonna straighten it? You just gonna blow it out? Oh, she just left it blown out. See, I love blown out looks on other people, but for me, it literally sticks to the back of my neck and I'll sweat and I'll feel like I'm drowning in hair. It's ridiculous, but I love this for her. I'll never tell anybody what to put in their hair per se, but I will say that the products she's using are not the business, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. You know, take it however you want to. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Oh no. So this is at Lion, Lion SC, Lion SC. And let's see, her curls. Looks similar to mine. All right. So the caption says, me trying to explain in third grade that my hair isn't removable. I can't take it off. I can't take it off. Like, take it off. I can't. It's beautiful. Girl thinks take it's it off. I can't take <laughs> it off. Like. Wow, her hair is so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I mean, I really don't have anything to say. It's unfortunate how ignorant people are to our hair and, you know, its capabilities. Like, people get very confused when they see a black woman or a man with long hair. I guess it's because these stupid stereotypes exist, basically saying that we can't grow hair and it must be a wig, it must be a weave. And I mean, it's very unfortunate, especially for somebody, I mean, I don't, how old are you in third grade? Like eight years old? How do you even process something like that, you know? But her hair is beautiful. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Oh, okay, so this is my girl. I mean, no association, because I don't know her personally, but I do love her and her videos. She's very popular on YouTube, and her name is I am Brie Hall on um, TikTok. 
and looks like she's doing some box braids, but she got a wig. Oh, wow. Why do I spend hours getting my hair braided when I could just do this? Um, this is bomb. And it looks so real. I mean, that's crazy. You know, one thing I haven't done ever is dabble it into wigs and I definitely want to try it. I just get so like, I mean, first off, I can't braid my natural hair like to the scalp, cornrows, can't do it. And you know, personally, I think black women need a safe space to, you know, learn how to braid hair. Um, without be being judged or ridiculed because you know, that's a whole thing like in the natural hair community in the black community like Hey, you don't know how to braid? So I always feel like it's gonna be super bulky um, And then I also am so afraid of my edges just ceasing to exist and I just don't want to put the strain on my hair. I know it's a great protective style, but I just, I don't know, I just haven't done it yet. So maybe one day I'll get brave enough and I will show you my first wig experience. But yeah, until then. Okay, this looks like a hair journey. I love hair journey videos. So let's see what this is about. Uh, this is by Naturally Serenity. I've never heard of her, but her hair is for A for B. Gorgeous. Let's see, she said how I got my hair from. Ooh, ooh, yes! We love to see it, we love to see it. Okay, all right, that's valid advice. Those are all things that are very important. Sleep with a satin or pillowcase, bonnet or wrap, absolutely 110%, I stand by that. Um, I always recommend my friends to do it, regardless if they have curly hair or straight hair, wavy hair, whatever, that is beneficial to anybody. Um, it really extends the life of your hairstyles and it prevents you from breakage and split ends, so it's like a no-brainer, right? She said that and then she said, stop using heat excessively. Also, another thing, Another thing that is so important, I used to go crazy with a flat iron, like insane, would not wear my hair curly for the life of me. My hair would not grow past like this point. And I used to have beautiful hair like when I was younger. It was really long and healthy and my mom always made sure I was good. And she kept my hair in a lot of protected styles. And then when I was in middle school, I, moved to another area and one of my new friends suggested that my hair would look better if it was straight and from that point on, all throughout high school, all throughout my um, early adult years, it was just straight hair, everything straight hair. I had to come to terms with my identity, self-love and accepting myself and finding the beauty in who I am. So I can definitely, Definitely relate. Okay, so that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next one.